Of all the groups out there right now doing what they can to stop global climate breakdown, the Sunrise Movement certainly stands out in helping to reshape the conversation around this very important issue. And they've now been recognized in a big way for the work that they're doing. And to explain this and break it down, we're joined now by Senior Program Officer for Environment at Wallace Global, Heather Coleman. Welcome to the Damage Report. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, very glad to have you here. And uh, so recently, the Sunrise Movement uh, received a pretty major award uh, from your organization. Can you tell us a little bit about that award and why uh, you felt that the Sunrise Movement in particular should be recognized in the way that they are? Absolutely. Um, so we have institutions and organizations that have been working to move the climate agenda in this country for well over several decades now. Um, the urgency of climate change continues to be clear. And yet we haven't really had a movement, um, a people power movement that is needed to really push this issue to the front of the political agenda. And what the Sunrise Movement activists have done successfully is they came onto the scene, they came onto the scene fearlessly. They brought an issue, they brought the agenda, but they also brought a demand for a Green New Deal and for big government to step up. And they broke through and they've now made it so that climate change is one of the top issues on in the political discussion conversation in this country. And so we felt that now is the time to first recognize that these young activists deserve our attention, deserve our money, um, and deserve to be heard by politicians. Um, and number two, that others need to start stepping up, both in joining this movement, in validating the movement. And in recognizing the fact that yes, we do need government. Free market capitalism hasn't worked for us in terms of addressing the, our climate challenge, and we need big government to step up. And so, of course, uh, th this award uh, is not just recognition; it also comes with a quarter million dollars in funding, which will help them to to organize and recruit and hold more events. Um, I, I've spoken recently with uh, with the founders of the group, and they're they're they not only have conducted this nationwide tour, but now they're planning on having a presence at the upcoming Democratic debates to make sure that climate change is very much a part of the conversation. Um, I, I am curious, just as as sort of a quick side note, I know that your organization, so Wallace Global, um, uh, uh, contributes to a number of different groups and a number of different causes. Um, this particular award, who are some of the other uh, beneficiaries in the past of this? So the first annual award that we gave in honor of Henry A. Wallace, who was the Vice President of the United States under uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt and one of the architects of the New Deal back in the 1930s. The first recipient back in 2017 was the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe. Um, and this was the tribe that stood up um, when there was the threat of a pipeline being developed through their sacred territories. And it really rallied and engaged uh, native and indigenous communities from around the world in a way that had never truly happened before in opposition to the Dakota Access Pipeline. Now, unfortunately, that pipeline has moved forward. But the courageous activism of that community in the face of a pipeline that not only would destroy their air and water in their own community, but and their culture, but also further to um, further exacerbate the climate crisis, helped to spark more movement activism around the world in opposition to corporate development. So what now what we're seeing in the Sunrise Movement is similar courageous activism, maybe in, certainly manifesting in a different way, right? These young, young sometimes children, uh, as young as 12, 13, even 10 years old, are speaking truth to power. And saying empathy is not okay, regardless of which party hat you wear. Um, and they, in some cases, are being arrested and risking their own, uh, their own personal um, safety and security in the process. Uh, and it's incredibly inspiring uh, for those of us who have been who have been trying to to get progress in this area. And so uh, we very much appreciate you supporting that group. Um, uh, for those who might not be familiar with the Wallace Global Fund, can you tell us just a little bit more about generally uh, what what the fund uh, uh, what the fund does, like its normal operations? Yes, we're a fund that supports uh, progressive movements across the U.S. and the world. Some of our 
fo biggest focus areas are on climate change and in promoting democracy, uh, both again in the US and globally, as well as women's rights. And right now we're seeing all of these issues under attack. As you all know, we're seeing democracy under attack globally, our democratic institutions under attack here in the US and globally. And we're seeing corporations continue to grow, to participate in unfettered growth, really unchecked at this point, as our institutions begin uh, to be dismantled that are that were created to regulate these, these, uh, these industries. And so Wallace Global Fund is working to try to build progressive movements, sustain those movements. Um, and we need more of us. We need, we need an army of progressive funders in this country and around the world who are willing to step up right now and help to build the people power we need to transition. Well, and hopefully this award and other grants will help uh, to produce that. Heather Coleman, thank you so much uh, for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much for watching this clip from the Damage Report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full Damage Report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.